Hey everybody, it's Amy from Amy Joe Budgets and I am redoing this. So this is what March was going to look like before I gave my son extra money to go to Montana. Um, if you didn't watch the last video, he moved to Montana on the, oh, let's see what the date was. He left from before Montana on March 4th. He arrived on Sunday, March 6th at technically March 7th, 12.30 in the morning, their time, 2.30 in the morning, our time on Monday morning. Um, but he did drive all day Saturday, all day Sunday, and part of the day on Friday to get to Montana. Um, so he is there, he's doing well, he's already met some friends and he's doing fantastic. Um, I think we miss him more than he misses us, which sucks for us, but it's great for him because I do want him to be happy there. Um, so I want to change this. This is my March redo of my budget, only because, like I said, I did give him extra money. When he planned his trip, we planned the money that we gave him, my husband and I, um, who is his stepfather, we planned the money that we were gonna give him based on what the gas prices were, not what the gas prices shot up to right before he left. Um, some here shot up 50 cents overnight per gallon. So we, and he did have a four wheel drive truck, which is a good thing he did because he went through some snow and some ice and had some rough travels there for a little bit, but he made it, he's safe and he's happy. Let me pull this light. Oh, this light. Let's see if that helps a little. Can you see that a little bit better? So this is my new office. This is his old bedroom and I've set it up as my office. It's a work in progress still. Um, I'll show it to you later when it's done, but it is not finished. Um, but I do have enough. If you can hear the fan in the background, I'm sorry, it's just warm in here. And I don't want to turn the air conditioner on because it's cold outside. I just need some air circulation. I could open a window and it would cool off really quick, but anyway, the fan's going. So I'm starting this out. Um, the ones that have the red marks beside them are the ones that I'm going to try to do every paycheck. This one may change. So I have looked it up. I actually have tractor supply up on my computer screen right now. And that's um, because I wanted to see, we were going to get an electric waterer and um, automatic and I've decided right now that we're not going to do that because I'm just not going to, if I save the extra money, maybe, but right now that's not the plan. So let me, I'm trying to adjust this light to where you can see a little bit better. So I'm going to go through here and I'm going to write my total amount that I have currently saved what my goal is and my budget for March. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so let's see, Amazon Prime. I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, and 20. This was fully funded. However, I got an email that said it was going up. So it is no longer fully funded. Um, Amazon Prime, I have 120. My goal is 140. I don't know if I'm gonna put any in in this time, unless we're gonna see. Car insurance, I have zero right now. Um, so let's go ahead and put zero. My goal is 550. Just paid that for March. It's not due until September. So let's go ahead and put that, and this is due in April. Costco membership is not due until October. It was 60, but, whoops. Um, but now I think it's gonna be 120. So let's put that there, because I think that's what it's gonna be. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 is what I have. And the reason I'm doing this on a piece of paper, a couple reasons. One, to show you that you do not have to have all this fancy stuff. I did order a book that I'm gonna try out, um, but it was like 
$14. So we're gonna try that out and see how it works. I'm probably gonna come up with my own again, um, but we'll see. We'll see when that gets done. All right, so for groceries, I have 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 125. I don't have a goal there. I'm just gonna keep putting money in and then I'll just spend when I have when I go to Costco. Um, Microsoft Word is due in July. So that's due in July and it's 70 and I have 30. All right, so there's for that one. Just kind of sort of want to know what I have, what I need, where I'm at with this process. I'm not going to do these bills because those are done. I'm not going to say what I have because I don't really, the only thing I've saved this month for bills is this. So I already know. Um, I don't know what my goals are for my bills. Like I know that stuff. So this one is going to be for the four wheeler. I did take some money out of the horse money. The next one for Jeremy, uh, my son. Let me put this up a little bit. Is that better? All right, one, 150, two, 253, 350, 370. And that was in the four wheeler. I have 370. I don't really have a goal for that one because I just want it as a down payment. I think we're gonna end up getting, instead of a four wheeler, we're gonna end up getting a side by side. Um, so I don't really have a goal. For the barn, I have a goal. I'm gonna put 1,900 because I do have the goal of that um, for the down payment. Um, that's what's required and I have 100 in there, which is no big deal because again, we haven't even found land yet. So I have plenty of time to bulk that up. If I get some of these others finished, then I can put money towards that one. Horses. I did take money out of here. Again, I do not need it right away. And I've changed some things around. Um, so let's just see what I have. One, two, three, four, five, 550, six, 650. I did take some out of here and give it to Jeremy. And I will put it back. But my goal for the horses is around 1500. I'm not sure if I need quite that much because I've separated some stuff. Um, so we'll see. So the vet and fur babies, I just did my um, budget. It's got 300 and something. I'm not even gonna count that now because it's got what I need for the vet. Um, all right, waterer. So I've changed this from $1,300 goal to a $350 goal. And the reason is because I'm going to get a country line oval galvanized stock tank, a two foot by six foot by two foot. And then I'm going to get two of the tank de-icers in case one of them breaks. I'll have a second and that comes out to around $326. So I have a little extra. So one, two, 250, 270, 280. So I'm almost there to what I want for the waterer. And I could just put it with the horses, but I'm just gonna leave it separate because it's already separate and it doesn't really matter. I'm not gonna do the bills one. Let's do this one. This one might have, actually this one doesn't have anything that has a goal in it either. This is just kind of saving as I go because it's got, let's see, it has in it Christmas, 52 weeks, emergency fund, car maintenance. Those are the only four that are in there and that they don't really have goals. I'm just trying to save 50 every time for Christmas, 52 weeks for, um, $53 for 52 weeks. And these two, I'm trying to save $25 a month. So, but as far as an actual finished goal, I don't have one. All right, so let's see. Sorry, I keep turning around, so I'm sure my voice changes. All right. So in here, I need, let's change the pen so that I can tell the difference. 
I need 20. I need 550, which is gonna be like $92 every paycheck. Um, so 120 minus 31, just to make sure I got that right. $89 is what I need. Um, I need 40 here. Four wheeler, I don't really have a goal. I need 1800 here. We'll work on that later. So 1500 goal minus 650. I need 850 here. And then 350 minus 280 equals $70. All right, so the green are what I need to meet the goals that I have. Not that I'm gonna put it in these paychecks, but this is the total that I need later. All right, so on the 17th, I'm gonna bring back this old one that I had made. I want to, first of all, I'm gonna do it in an erasable pen in case I need to change something. Let me make sure it works, okay. Um, so I want to, so there's certain things that I have to pay out of every paycheck, okay? So I have to pay this. I have to pay my gas. And I think I'm gonna up that to 100 because gas is going up. Probably should be even more than that, but we're gonna go with it for now and see what happens. Um, and my loan payment is 60 and then I'll take out 60 each paycheck for 30 each week. So these are the things that need to be paid every week. The things I want to pay every week are the Christmas in 52 weeks and the water I was doing every every paycheck, but I only need 70 more and I'm done with that one, so. All right, this is the only bill that I've paid so far. I don't need to write the goals. I already know what my bills are. Um, so my student loan is actually gonna go up, but I don't have to pay that. So I'm not gonna fill that in yet because I'm not sure what's gonna happen with that. So let's do, all right, so based on my pay, let's, let's pretend like I'm gonna get, uh, let's just do, yeah, 1850 should be good. So let's say I'm gonna get 1850. Can you see that calculator? I hope you can see that total. 1850. Um, I do not have to do this one because it's already done. I do need, to, I'm not going to do student loan yet. We're going to figure that out here in a little bit. So we're going to do 1850. Let's go ahead and subtract. Actually, let's just add these. 8 plus 100 plus 20 plus 120 is 260s. So this is 320. So we can do 1850 minus 320. So we got 1530 left. All right, let's figure this out. We're gonna skip the sinking funds below. We're just gonna go with these right here for now and figure those out. All right, so electric, I'm gonna go ahead. All right, let's just go to phone. Let's do phone first. So I have 1364 left. Let's go ahead and do, <clears throat> sorry, let's go to the electric. 1044, let's go ahead and do this one. And let's do upstart. $840 left. All right, we're gonna put car here, so let's do that. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and fully fund Amazon because that one is coming up in April. So that gives me 820 left. Um, let's go ahead and do the $92 for this month for the car insurance. Um, let's go ahead and do Microsoft Word. Let's see. Let's go ahead and fully fund the waterer. 618 left. Let's go ahead and do the 50 and the 53. Minus 103, 515. 
Let's go ahead and put 25 in both of these. $465 left. Gonna send him some money. So $265 left as of this. Okay. So let's go ahead and do the $1850 again. Minus the $685 for the cars. Minus the tree 20. So that takes care of those two. I do not have to put anything here, 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 or here because those are done. Do not need anything here or here. I have $845 left. Um, I need 850 here total, you know, to finish it off. Let's go ahead and put 25 in for the fur babies, for the horses. Um, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and put 50 because I'll need to buy the dog's food too. I should make a separate one for them. Um, $50 for them. I don't need to do anything in those. Let's go ahead and put the 50 and 53. So minus 103. 692. Uh, let's go ahead and finish off this. $603 left. Let's put 250 in here. 53. Let's put 50 in each one of these. And here. And here. Alright, so we're not going to put anything here. Or here. Or here. Or here. Or here. Um. Give me 253. Actually, let's move the four wheeler payment here. And put it over here. So that'll be 215. Um, and then up in here. And then I'm going to send my son. Um, Another hundred. Ah. Uh, I hit the wrong button. I think that ended up being like two something. So I'm just going to put 200. I should have around $200 left. And this paycheck will actually be a little bit more than it usually is because um, they don't take insurance out of this check. So that should fix March. Um, this, because I'm in school again, I won't owe anything here. I may or may not pay anything. I don't know. But that right now is the plan. I'm not going to put anything there. If I do, it would be like 20 bucks. I can put $10 in here. Okay. So that gives me enough, a little bit to put in my buffer. This will fill this up. Let me get out. We get a different color. I don't have my purple one that I like. Um, so this one will be fully funded. This one will be fully funded. That will be fully funded. So you're not going to see me put anything in those anymore for a while. This one will be fully funded. Some of these just have running totals and are never going to be fully funded necessarily. Um, yeah, but there's a couple that will be. So, yeah. So there you go. That is my new plan for March. Can you see all of that? This is my new plan for March. I gotta have to get rid of the old plan, um, but I do want to send him some money. I may split this up a little bit differently. I'm not sure, but I know he's going to need some money here. Um, if I can, I may just send him the whole 300 here and change this around a little. You know what? Let's let's go ahead and do that. Let's just change change that and 
change this and just send him 300 and put the 10 here. It doesn't really matter it's so much there and then I won't send him anything there unless I have extra money. Um, so these aren't correct, completely correct, but it's around 200 bucks left each time. And that I may end up putting some more in gas because gas is getting more expensive. And I do drive an hour each way to work. So I may end up changing my gas. I'm gonna actually change it on the computer now to take 100 each check um, because it is going up and I need to get to work. Otherwise, none of this matters because I don't have any paycheck to do anything with. So. Here's my new goals for this couple of things I have goals for. These are the new adding to them. So I'll end up having 650, 7, 8, 900 back there. Um, yeah, so I'll do this again later. I may make a sheet and just print it up. And so it'll be a little neater than this. But yeah, this is kind of sort of how I'm doing it right now. Just kind of getting ready for March. Um, the other two paychecks in March. Okay, so I'm gonna go. I will see you guys later. And this is the plan, the new plan for March. And hope that it works out okay. All right, see you guys soon. Bye.